it's October 17th, which means it's officially legal to smoke pot in Canada. I'm Charles Lasaski, live out Nova Cannabis. As you can see, the lineup is very long. It goes from here and all the way around the corner. People waiting up to four hours to get in. Now, since it's not against the law to light up now, those who smoke pot before and those who have not even tried it took advantage today of this new freedom. Freedom on the sidewalk. Smoking marijuana out in public legally is a day Tom Carroll didn't think would ever come. I don't have to feel like I'm doing something wrong and I can enjoy life, right? Like I'm sitting here on this bench and there's nobody walking down the sidewalk there and there's nobody walking down the sidewalk there and I don't feel like I'm being invasive to anybody around me. Not only can Carroll and anyone 18 or older toke up legally, but they can buy pot from a legit business. That's why hundreds lined up at one of Edmonton's six stores. I'm very excited to purchase legally, getting it from the white market, getting it from somewhere that was professional, that was that's going to be consistent, that's going to be tested. Uh, it's extremely exciting. I, I'm very happy. I have barely used, <laughs> but now that it's legal, I feel more inclined to try it and I feel safer about it. Yeah, I think I want to be one of the first ones on the first day. I think somebody said, you know, you save the receipt and put it away in a scrapbook or some of that. <laughs> now the city says it wants more tax dollars from the province to foot the bill for enforcement. We've been dissatisfied as we've stated this week with what we've been uh, given so far, uh, but we'll continue to engage them. And as this rolls out and as those expenses become clear, uh, at the very least, we hope they're flexible in making adjustments. Carol tells us he'll respect officers who enforce city laws restricting where he can light up a joint, since doing so is no longer a crime. They should be our friends in a sense, right? Like they're here to, to serve and protect and, and now hippies aren't criminals. So. <laughs> And City News was able to catch up with the first person to buy pot in St. Albert, and here's what he had to say. I'm happy that it's legal. I'm happy that it's here. I don't know. I'm happy to know that this is not going to have any, what, there's like some, they're putting something in weed now and every other drug that's killing people. Fentanyl, thank you. So I don't have to worry about that in this. Now, in an effort to prevent drugged driving tap cars offering a 10% discount for all their rides today, in order to apply for your ride, you'll have to use the promotional code SAFERIDE. Live from White Avenue, Cheryl Tasaskew, City News. At the